So, we open, we're not even open the show, we're going to talk about what everything, okay, obviously NFL training camp's going on, but everything's being overshadowed by... Aaron Hernandez. Psych! Tim Tebow. Psych! Riley Cooper. Riley Cooper. Who, I'm sorry, but there's a picture on Facebook right now. So, a <laughs> rapist, a racist, no, a murderer, murderer a racist, racist. And, a, and, a, and a... Preacher. Preacher. Welcome to a bar. Yeah. The murderer is Hernandez. The racist, the is, racist Cooper. is Cooper. And the preacher is Timbo. Timbo. And it's, Timbo. And it's, it's, Timbo. I like that. <laughs> but we're here to talk about the racist. Yeah, I'm going to let George... T- we, we, George and I obviously are, you know... Ebony and Ivory. It, it's, we're Ebony and Ivory, we're black and white. George and I, in, in, in confinement's our home, or when we're just around, we say everything, slang words and stuff like that. And, and I know... What, go ahead. Yeah, I... I I don't, I would say when, when we're not in mixed company or even in certain mixed company, there are no boundaries. Boundaries, you know. We don't really limit ourselves. We don't, cause we know none of it's serious. And I think that's the problem with what Riley Cooper said. It's not only did he use that word that I am not allowed to use under any circumstance in right. a public forum, not this one, not right. anyone. Um, but it's the venomous way it came out. Right. I mean, y- you, I could sit back and, and a lot of people don't like when, when, when the N bomb or niggas just dropped under any circumstances. You know, you, it's a slang term. You hear it in so much music nowadays. It's just, oh, it's just to touch on that. Kanye West, 42 times in one song. And I guess my, my objection to the word and, and what kills me is some people say with it, with the ER, some mm-hmm. people say it with the A. Mm-hmm. Some people don't. Say ninja. Right, or say ninja, or right. I'm saying mm-hmm. without the yeah. yeah. So you say that, and it's just like some people are okay with that, some aren't. It just if it's if I can't use any version of the word, in my opinion, you shouldn't either. Right, like then, if the word carries that much weight and that much power, mm-hmm. how come anyone besides me can use it and say it? Right, that, that's what I don't and, understand. And it's, it's I think it's it's that it's with a lot of words. Like for example, um, you know. It's the context of how a lot of words are said. I mean, obviously, there's some people that don't care, you know, if you use it or not. And, it, and then I think everybody cares when it's used in the wrong context, especially. Not that saying, you know, dropping the N-bomb is, is good under any circumstances, but we all know it's in, it's in music. We all know it's used to slang. We all know that black people say it. Some, a lot of white people say it. A lot of people say it. And, and some people say it in, in, in a humorous type way and stuff. And it's just been, it's been so much part of the black culture and it's, you know, and with that black culture, it's kind of gone into, you know, other cultures and stuff. And the problem is, is that, you know, everybody, some people just say it, but when you say it like Riley Cooper says it in a malicious way and, and, and you're using it in that type of context, everybody's going to sit back and go, Oh, he just called that motherfucker. An idiot. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, and, it's and, not. And, and it's just like if you were, if you were, if you were gay, right? And I sat there and I was like, oh man, that's gay or whatever, whatever. You, you could be a, you could be gay and see like whatever, not, it, but if I sat there and you and I could speak, speak, I'd be like this, you, you fucking, you gay motherfucker, or you fat, or if I said something like that, then you're immediately going to know that I'm take what context I'm using it. And you know when it's used as slang and you know when it's used to, in a harmful, in a harmful manner, which again, we'll go back and say it doesn't mean it's good to use it even as slang, but, when you use it the way Riley Cooper, there's going to be repercussions. Right. And, and I, I commend, first off, Michael Vick. Michael Vick, I think, understands that he was given a second chance by this football team and understands what it's like to be under the media's microscope and mm-hmm. to have everything you say and or do from that point on scrutinized to the utmost. And Michael Vick's living that. Right. On, on a different scale than, than Cooper is. Cause we don't know what's going to happen to Cooper. Cooper's not going to go to jail for this. He didn't kill anyone for this. Mm-hmm. He, he, Killed his image. His image is dead. His image and if the Eagles, shit, yeah. and if the Eagles cut him, his career in the NFL for the rest of this season is dead. No one's going to touch him. And now, no, continue. And I'm going to. Go go what I was going to say is, that. is the one thing I will give. Look, I am not defending his use of the word. I want mm-hmm. you to hear me one more time because you people have a hard time hearing me. I am not defending his use of the word. What I'm defending is the man stood in front of the media more than once, in front of his teammates more than once. Mm-hmm. Took ownership of it. Not once has the man made an excuse. He hasn't passed the buck. He didn't explain 
what happened before the video. He didn't anything like that. So mm -hmm. unless you actually see the full context of that video and why he was acting like that, I'm not even saying why he did it was right. I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not condoning that. What I'm, I'm giving him respect for is standing up and taking ownership because with today's it's athletes, they don't fucking do it. The, the, Ryan Braun didn't do it. Alex Rodriguez doesn't do it. Athletes the, who are putting this is what I'm going to, this is the thing I'm going to do. You, what you're saying is that, you know, Riley Cooper took ownership of it. And then you made a, a comparison to him, to Ryan Braun, and you made a comparison to Alex Rodriguez. These guys didn't take ownership of it because there was no definitive proof. There is a tape that shows him saying it. So he has to take it. But see, I disagree with that because right now Ryan Braun just struck a deal to get 65 games off. There's proof, but he doesn't want it to get out. Alex Rodriguez is tentatively off the, out of baseball till maybe possibly the end of 2014. But, but this is the thing, and, 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 and correct me if I'm wrong, and I'll see how, what you guys out there think. When some, when there's paperwork and people are out there, like if there's a trial, or people say, well, we had this or there's these documents that said that are, that, that's one thing. But when people have a video of you, saying it if someone had a video of ryan braun shooting some fucking juice in his ass or a rod then they would be like yeah i did that shit they would be take they would be fessing up to it just like he is he is everybody's going to look in the world if he tried not to take if he tried not to man up and say yes he, people would look at him are you a fucking nut well like, it's not we have you on tape saying it okay but at least he's not trying to pass the buck. At least he's yeah. not making an excuse. He, he's, he's not so, saying. He said, I said it and fuck it. Like, right. Yeah. He's saying, look, I said it. I fucked up. Yeah. yeah. I agree and with you and on everyone that. keeps digging and trying to go, but, but why'd you say it? Why'd this ever cross your mind? And I'm just thinking to myself, have you ever sat there and said something in the heat of the moment and gone, probably shouldn't have said that? Yeah. Unfortunately, today in 2013, as a public figure, or an athlete, or somebody, even as a low level athlete as he is, because right. let me tell you right now, Riley Cooper walking in that door right now, I don't know who he was. Dude, he's a long-haired ponytail white boy. And if yeah. you've ever seen, and I, I mean, I sat behind one of the, uh, Rocky McIntosh, mm -hmm. the linebacker for the Redskins. He's sitting in front of me at one of the Wizards games. I'm looking at him. I'm like, the only thing, he's just built. Mm -hmm. He doesn't look crazy. He's not, you know, cartoonish. He's no. just, he's a built brother. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know so, I mean, I just, I, I it's it's amazing what this man's about to be put through for the use of this word. And again, his context and what he said, I'm not condoning it. Right. But he's just, he's about to get fucked. He's about to get fucked. And I'm going to tell you what, I mean, it's, believe me, it's, he's not the only person that says it. You know, people get drunk, people get mad, people say shit. They, it, it might be an end bomb. It might be like fag or gay or this or could, you could say uh, any type of racial slur, you know, and... And people get drunk and they say, and people who are not drunk say it, and it's behind closed doors or people don't catch it on camera. His time, he happened to be at a Kenny Chesney concert, and I know Kenny Chesney <laughs> had, because Kenny Chesney just did a video with LL Cool J about this shit, right? I'm pretty sure it's either L, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's LL. It's one of them country mugs. But anyway, um, um, and he's at a, he's at a, he's at a Kenny Chesney concert, and he is with no other person of color, not even brown, Asian, nothing, and he screams that at a security guard. And it's in that right there, everybody is going to look at him and be like, oh, that country boy, that redneck. He's going to immediately get put, put in, and by him oh, saying that. LL Cool J and Brad Paisley. Brad Paisley. Brad Paisley. Accidental Paisley. racist. Yeah, Brad Paisley. Ac accidentally well, racist. Kenny Chess, yeah, it was Brad yeah. Paisley. But, uh, but, um, well, not, not, not to, it, just to give you an idea of, I'm driving back from Philly down here mm -hmm. and I'm listening to DL Hughley. He's on Opie and Anthony and he sits there and goes, the first problem with Riley Cooper is we know there were no ninjas there because if they were, they were cleaning up. And mm -hmm. I absolutely lost. Yeah. That was hilarious. <laughs> there weren't going to be no brothers at a Kenny Chesney yeah. concert. Right. That, that's basically what right. DL said. And that was funny. It's just, it's interesting to see how many, and the media is just, I mean, they're burning him at the stake. Well, I mean, they are just and, relentless and, and they keep asking, why'd you say it? Why'd you say it? Why is that word even in your vocabulary? Right. Motherfucker, it is 20, four, 13, 14, yeah, 2013. 2013. Who, how many people have said the word? I mean, let's be honest. Okay. Everyone, yeah. and if you sit there and say you haven't said the word, I don't even think it. You're a fucking lying. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, you know, I mean, if you're, if you're just singing some raps. Yeah. If you're repeating the lyrics a lot of times, you're going to say the word. The, you know, the thing about this whole Riley Cooper thing for him is if Philly, and I'm going to tell you what, if I was Jeffrey Lurie, I'd be like, you got to roll out. I'd but cut him. I, I'd cut him because, and you know what? I wouldn't cut him because of what he said. It's the but, because there's players that do a lot of fucked up shit behind closed doors. It was, it was, it's just the fucking circus that is causing. It would be distracting my team. And I'm like, I don't need this cancer on my team right now. If 
I got it. I don't want, I don't need any animosity being built up in my locker room. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. And let me and tell you something. You cut them. If you're the owner of the Arizona Cardinals and you need a tight end, are you going to pick them up? A wide receiver? I mean, a wide receiver. Probably not. Yeah. The, the only person, the only, the only person who can get away with picking this guy up, in my opinion, is Andy Reid. Because Andy Reid's coached the man before and he can speak to his character. Yeah. Other than that, this kid is off limits to the other 31 teams in the NFL. No one's going to want to take them because they're going to be like, man, and you and people are going to be like, man, if there's brothers there, they're going to be gonna, like, yeah, they're going to stand up on their man, soapboxes and complain yeah. while Kanye's playing in the back, saying it 97 times. Right. And that's my it's, problem. So it's going to that yeah, and that's it's, that's because you know. you're going to walk into the locker room, mm -hmm. all the black players are going to say it. They are all singing it. It's playing in the music at practice. Mm -hmm. Yada did ya, yada did ya, yada did ya. The kid went to fucking Florida. You don't think they ever played that in the locker room? <laughs> sure, he's never heard the word before. But again, it's, it's the, the context, way he said, said it, it and the venom that it which it was spewed. Mm -hmm. And I, if, I think if it was said in a joking manner, we wouldn't be sitting here talking about. Oh it no, today. nobody and would give. And a unfortunately, shit. we're here today. And it's it just put it sucks. this way: if he said it like. Whatever. If he said, he said, "Oh, oh go ahead, nigga. oh go ahead, nigga." He said something like that to somebody. Everybody, all the brothers would be going like this, going, damn, man, he shouldn't have said this shit in front of the cameras. And there would be some brothers that would be like, man, fuck that. That white boy shouldn't be saying that shit. And well, then some people would be like, I don't give a fuck. Like you know? LaShawn McCoy. LaShawn McCoy stands up on a soapbox and says, yada, da, yada, da, yada, da, I can't, I can't try, I can't be friends with somebody like that before. Mm -hmm. Go look at some of your old tweets, homeboy. Yeah. That, that's all I'm going to say. Go, go look at, I don't know if they got deleted. You can't, but th yeah. This is the man who, who went after his baby's mother on Twitter. Like, I understand it's not the same, but it's kind of the same because you went out into a public forum and said some things you probably shouldn't have said. Yeah, and people are people are are, are getting on Roger Goodell. You got to understand what Roger Goodell. First of all, when when it all went down, right? Jeffrey Lurie immediately took it, action. Immediately took action. He contact Roger Goodell didn't even know what happened yet. Okay, he immediately took action and he said we've disciplined him. Okay. And we find him X amount of X amount of dollars. Okay, I guess some undisclosed amount. And Roger Goodell goes, okay. He was upset. He was pissed off about it. And people are saying, oh, Roger Goodell ain't doing stuff. The problem is, is that you cannot do double jeopardy with these offenses. If there's already been a, pedal, a, a penalty by the team, the CBA, the collective bargaining agreement, says that they can't do it again. You can't do this. You can't hit him up twice. Right. And that's the, something that the players worked out. Right. You know what I mean? So, I mean, people have to understand it. You got to understand the law that's involved too. And you can't just go attacking the commissioner and saying Roger Goodell's a racist. He doesn't give, he's just doing his fucking job. Uh, you know? I don't think that man's a racist at all. He's uh, out there cracking heads. He didn't give a shit who you are. He don't give a fuck who you are, man. No. If you're not, if you're doing something, and believe me, let me tell you something, right? Jeffrey, Jeffrey Lurie might have been thinking, I better jump on it quick. Yeah. Jeff, and Jeffrey Lurie doesn't play. I mean, you're, you're looking at an owner who's won many awards for being the top uh, philanthropist as an mm -hmm. owner. He does amazing things in Philadelphia to give back. He's very conscious and very aware of the surroundings mm -hmm. and the city yeah. and things going on. And I think the other players are as well, unless you're Marcus Vick. I think it was smart by Jeffrey Lurie because if you're, th if you're Jeffrey Lurie, you're like, fuck, he fucked up. God damn. I'm going to penalize him right away. Now the league can't do anything. Okay. So if this does blow over, if by some miracle it can work out, I've got my receiver. You know? Now, but they've dismissed them. They've, they've sent them away to sensitivity training. training. Like, seriously. And now you're going to miss Cam, so it's a wrap. I, I don't I, think he's going to start the year and be in. Do you think he's going to be an Eagle? Nope. No, I, I don't, don't either. I just don't. Yeah. So with that said, I'm sure a lot of you would want to see what we thought about this. So this is how we present it. And, and to my earlier comment is about I don't understand why about the use of the word. I look, I get the history of the word. I understand why it's mm -hmm. bad. So before you people freak out about my earlier comment, I, I get it. Yeah. Calm down. There's a lot of history behind a lot of racial slurs too. I would, you know what? Look, like you know what's funny? I have. Can a, somebody tell me where honky or cracker came from? I, I don't know, but I had an Italian. Those are the two I want. I had an Italian buddy, and he was sitting there, and he was bitching about something. It was, it was, it was, it was racial. And I'm like, he's sitting there, and he was saying something. He was, he was throwing out some racial slurs about something. And I'm like, you know what's funny, man? Like I said, do you know why people call you, you, you know, a wop? Cause he was talking about like Mexicans and, and how they're, he was saying some things. He was pissed off about it. And I'm like, I go, do you know why they call you WAPs? And he's like this. He goes, I go, no, I go, WAP, W-O-P. He goes, no, nah, I don't know why I fucking call WAPs. Just some fucking slur, like whatever. I go, it means without papers. I go, when you guys came over here and were doing cheap labor, just like the immigrants do now, I go, that's what they called you. And he's like, oh, snaps. And this show's without time. Cause we got to go watch the UFC event. We do. We're out. Later.